Hello guys, Flyndage here. Welcome back to part 2 in our Empire Rome run. Emperor Rome, I should say, not Empire. Um, so yeah, I think we did everything we need to do and we can start playing the game. So I think we're going to unpause the game. Uh, we talked about everything and yeah, we only have our Omen pop-up that we will use when we go to war. I think that's going to be it. I don't think we have to do anything else. We will just let these people have their jobs. That's okay. Uh, maybe some law changes at some point. Um, let's see. I could also... Maybe lower my fleet maintenance for a bit. Because we are not at war right now, right? Yeah, let's lower it. Uh, we don't have an army, as you can see. That's true. Hey, there's a difference in tax income when we do this. Why is that? Oh, we get more uh, culture happiness. Integrated culture happiness goes up, so we make more money our slaves and free men and tribesmen oh, that's interesting actually and this makes them very unhappy but we have more morale of armies but the levy size and build multiplier is the same so I think we're gonna keep it like this uh, fort maintenance let's drop that as well I think we have three forts right yeah we have three forts already and we are gonna just keep the wages normal uh, we will keep the uh, capital import routes for our commerce um, Maybe later on one of these options is more beneficial to us, but for now, no. What I will do is um, lower my income from my tributes, so I will make them happier. So we can annex them quicker. Now, let's see what happens when I unpause the game. Uh, we, I will wait one month. We, I think we're going to get some um, uh, events. And with these events we get claims, and then we're going to go to war. Right now we do not have any claim. On anyone. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Quintus Apuleius Panza talks of uh, our Republic's military tradition. Attack is the best form of defense. Uh, this is us, by the way, the Consul. Uh, we can click this option. We get more popularity and more loyalty for Quintus, who is just a guy. He's just a guy. But part of a political party. Um, and for 60 months we get uh, siege ability and heavy infantry offense. Now that sounds like an amazing plan. Of course, we will take that one. Attack is the best form of defense. That's absolutely true. So our mission is now uh, completing. And I think in one year, we will get all our claims. So until that time, we're just going to sit on our hands, make a bit of money. Uh, and just uh, see what happens with our trade. I think our trade is going automatically. Exports. Yeah, we are exporting these uh, these things here. Oh, and a new event, the Auspices of Jupiter. Uh, to ensure support for war, an official Auspice from Jupiter, Optimus Maximus, the patron of good faith and greatness of the gods, is recommended by the Essials. No idea. Uh, we lay our fate in Jupiter. Publius gets more, uh, our Augur gets more loyalty. And we get a bit of both in, uh, political influence, or we get a bit of corruption, and we lose a bit of money. Or not. So I think when we do this one, we have a better chance of a good event. So let's do that one. And we can do that option because our uh, ogre is not... Religious. Now he is uh, returning the Auspex here. Um, and what do we get? No, he, f he failed. Yikes. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So we are trading away our stuff. Uh, we have one grain left, I think. We're not importing grain, right? We make two grain here. Where's the other grain? Oh, here. Yeah, we make three grains. So we can still trade this one away at some point. And, uh, yeah, just make a bit of money over here. Surrounded by the vultures. Lucius brings urgent news. Who is Lucius? That is this guy. What are these guys? Lucania Brutia. And we are going to get claims on all Brutian and Lucian territories in Italia and Magna Graecia. And of course we will do this, because then we can go to war, so we will click this. And now I think we have CBs. We have a CB on uh, Lucania, which is this blue nation. 
and on Brutia. So that's uh, over here. When we click on the diplomatic map mode, we can see it. Uh, I will wait for a claim on uh, Somnium. That's an easier target. Uh, I forgot actually to uh, see what the fort infrastructure thing is doing. So I have to look that up again in the next episode, between the next episodes. Oh yeah, there are some pirates here, I think. Uh, it looks like we uh, we have to put our fleet on maintenance and try to uh, kill the pirates. Or they radar coast. They can radar coasts. It's very bad, of course. Now, our, our uh, provincial investment is coming along here. The academy is coming along. Now that we can maybe build another building here. They're going to build an aqueduct so we can have more population. The jealousy of the Samnites. There we go. Today, uh, Quintus Marcius, who is this one, this guy here. Just a normal guy in the Senate. And uh, he uh, lives a, a polemic against the Samnites. They're threatening our gates. And how many wars must we fight and win before they submit? Now we can get a claim on all the territories of uh, the Samnites here. Or not. Of course we take it. No. Can we now go to war? I think we can, because we now have a claim on the Samnites. If I declare war on you, uh, Lucania will join as well. Just a blue nation over here. But uh, this looks like a good first war over here. And um, so what do we need to do? We need to go to a military and we need to raise our levies. Um, so, we do have a good 10 Martial General from the Magna Grecia government region, that is this whole uh, southern part of Italy. Uh, but since we only have a couple of uh, provinces over here, uh, we get only 4 units from them. We will raise it. Now oh, you can see what it costs and how much manpower it costs. And uh, there they are. So, uh, from now on in this game, one unit is 500 troops. So, four units is 2,000 troops. And we can do the same with the levies from Italia here. There we go. Conscripti 1 and Conscripti 1 Magna Grecia. And we are going to bring those over here. We will get a bit of uh, attrition. And then hopefully we can do a surprise attack on the seven knights here. That would be fantastic. I will put them in the same uh, army. Because then the good general will take over. So we're gonna do this. Now we have to uh, pay for our forts. Gonna get the discipline bonus from Mars. There we go. And then we can go to war here. Okay, they do have full maintenance. They have one, two, three forts over here. That's a lot. That is a lot of forts. Now, can I see in the fort maintenance if, if I pay more because of too many forts? No, I, don't, I can't see it here. Vai is 75. Why, is you, why are you 75 and the other one is... Still don't know. I still don't know. Need to check that out. The Might of Rome. Lucius, proud son of the noble Volumnius, speaks in the Curia. So Praetor. And he can... We can get morale of armies for 120 months. Get more approvals from the Popularis faction. Or... We get more manpower. No, no, we don't need manpower. So we will click this one. Okay, we are almost in place. I'm gonna declare the war now. Lu uh, Lucania will join, but that's okay. The war goal will be to take uh, Campania, I guess. This is all Campania. State. There we go. Oh, we are at war. Uh, let's go to the fort. You cannot split the armies, by the way. It's impossible. Um, you cannot do anything else. You can only uh, give them the tactic you want to use. Now I think that um, the enemy is going to use a lot of skirmishing. Because that is um, with light infantry and light cavalry. I think the... Yeah, are they going to use env uh, envelopment? I don't know if they have uh, shock units. 
Hmm. Should we keep using shock action? I think that's a waste because they are not going to use this one. If I go with envelopment, then we can beat deception and phalanx. Let's go with this one. Uh, I also don't know what this means. Flank size two, five, or ten. I have no idea what this what it's doing. I have no idea. Hopefully, you guys can tell me. Now our vessels are uh, putting their troops on the map as well. Quintus Ogden speaks of our long feud with the Sabines. We get claims on Sabinian or not. Yes, we will take it. We will take all the claims. Because we want to conquer everything. Yeah, we cannot split this. Which is a bit annoying because you can get a lot of attrition. Uh, but I think when you have enough food that it's not that it doesn't matter that much, but I'm not sure It's pretty new to me, so Yeah, let's keep this uh, this guy over here as well. Who are you the Somniums? Oh, they're putting their troops over in the north. That's interesting Yeah, there are a lot of forts here. There is uh, Lucania with 2,500 troops Italian Destiny. Uh, Cneus Flavius, I think he is the leader of the Popularis faction. And what does he want? It doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, we built our uh, investment over here. Yeah, now we have 6 out of 6. Do we pay less for our forts now? Yes. We paid 0.75, now we pay 0.60. So I think that is the difference. Hmm. Here we have 3 out of 5, for example. No, no, it's wrong. We have only two forts in this, uh, this state here. The province. The province of Latium has two forts in Roman and Vei. And we have, uh, in the province of Campania, we have one fort over here. This is the fort icon. And then we take over everything. Then we have a fort here and here. And here. So we need to destroy a lot of forts to uh, keep everything okay over here. And what I can do is in do, uh, get a uh, province improvement. So we can actually have two forts without a penalty. And I think that sounds like a great idea. Can you do more investments after you did one? Yes. Yes, you can, but it costs 20, extra, 20 money extra. I think. Yeah, we can, we can click this button over and over. Interesting. Uh, we will have at least two forts over here, so I think I'm going to go and fortify the province. It's a lot of uh, points. But uh, we will need it, because when we conquer everything, we have way too many forts over here. And I want to keep two of them. Especially the one over here, because um, there is a mountain in passable terrain. So this fort stops everything that wants to move uh, towards us. And the same counts for this province of Aternum. Uh, this fort is going to stop everyone from the south to the north. So then we have this fort and this one. And they will block everything. And then we don't need more forts. Okay, we had some battles over here, but uh, we don't really care. The Etruscan threat, that's uh, this purple nation. And we get claims on them. Of course we take it. Now we are becoming very popular because of all of these missions. And what I also should do is start um, improving relations with my vessels. Plus 25 money. We need 200 to integrate them and I want to integrate them. So, let's start with one. Give a bit of money in our treasury. Our forts are going to be very expensive, I think. Yeah, we, we just traded everything away of our surplus. And that's I think, is the best thing to do in your 
um, states, uh, provinces that are not your capital because you just get a lot more money. Commerce. Deceitful Umbrian. I think Umbria is over. No, it's in the north. Umbria was the green one, I think. No, it's the, the brown one. These are the Umbrians, and we will get claims on them. Of course we do. Now, how is it uh, going with the government here? So, we are very um, successful in getting people on our side for our own faction, the, uh, the Optimatus. But, uh, of course, we are not playing as a character or faction, so we can also accept the other uh, guy in the, in the government. He has 7768, Publius. That will mean that, uh, that uh, this guy from our own faction, if he stays in power, we have a 7 martial skill leading our levies. And this one is having 8, so I don't really care who is winning. The only thing is that when the Optimatus, that is in power right now as well, and at the moment is getting re-elected with 73 votes, when they are uh, in power, we get more noble output. Uh, when the Boney is in power, we get build cost and wages. And when the Popularis are winning, just get a bit of free man happiness, which is also good because you get more manpower and taxes, so... In the beginning, it does not really matter. But it's nice if we can get re-elected, that's uh, very nice. The election is in uh, 455 af after the formation of Rome. That's the... The Ab Urbe Condita. And the current date is now 303. The year 303, but we are using the 451 after the founding of Rome. But we still have this agenda to pass the law, the senatorial endorsement, then we get more approval. People are really liking me. I think the populars also like it when you go to war, so... See how quickly we can uh, siege down all their forts. How much troops do you need on a fort? Can I use 2,000 troops to uh, siege a fort? I have no idea. Fort level 1, what does that mean? Look at this, this uh, the state of Campania. 9 out of 5 fortification points for uh, Somnium. That cost them a lot of money, but I wish I could see that. How much that cost, but I can't see it. Okay, the provincial investment is going on Campania. That's very nice. Can I seed this pro this uh, level 1 fort, right? With 2,000 troops? Oh. The Ascendance of Rome. You can only click on this, so we cannot do anything. Just a uh, story how it was in the Roman Empire. At the end of the recent conflict with Etruria and Samnium left the Republic at the strongest power of the Italian peninsula. Yes. Roman settlers are now moving on their own accord on their own accord into the regions of our north and east, establishing new colonies, expecting our protection. All look to us from Samnium and Etruria to Sicily and Carthage, awaiting our next move. We're gonna conquer them. Can we siege the fort with 2,000 troops? We can. Interesting. Each fort level provides 500 soldiers to mend the fortifications. Yes, I see. So I guess we just need one unit to siege a fort. Or just have more than the garrison? No idea. It's unfortunate I cannot split my army. These are loyal to uh, Publius. These are loyal to Mar Marcus Claudius. Oh, he's coming. No, he's not coming. My vessels are also over here with a lot of army, so that's very nice. Hey, we won the siege, and now we can do a couple of things. When you siege down, we, you see we get two uh, slaves to Rome and some money, I, I think. Uh, three pops captured, um, two slaves to Rome, and one slave to Canusum Apulia. 
And okay, that's good. And now we can do a couple of things. Uh, we can gentle uh, loot the profits here. That will be ours. Uh, the Fabii family. Who is that me? Yeah. Then we get more prestige. The family that uh, that the consul is from. Uh, he gets money, and Rome gets money, and he gets it gets popularity. Or we are gonna uh, loot even more. Then we get the same prestige. Uh, we get a bit more money. Levy becomes loyal to Publius Fabius, and we are gonna kill. A citizen. I don't like to kill the citizen. And if we do this one, then we get even more money. We can do this because we are cruel. We have our own stats just like in CK2 now. We are jealous, victorious and wise. Um, and we can become cruel. I don't need this. No, I don't want to be cruel. And then we kill more people, right? Yeah, so we're just gonna do a gentle loot here. There we go. Now, we have to uh, continue. Um, maybe we can attack some of their armies. We have enough food. I think you lose food supply. Oh. I think you lose food supply when you have attrition. And when you have attrition, you use your food supply to, uh, to hold, I think. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, so the army is using food. Oh, and the current attrition is giving more food. Yes. So attrition makes you use more food. Now, we have a quick battle here. Uh, we have 15% in development. Because we are good against uh, deception, we get another bonus. We have more discipline than they do. And we have a better general. And I think when you have a better general, you get a plus one bonus in this game. Yes, as a relative modifier from Marjavelle of Commander Leading compared to the opponent's commanding leader. What is your stat then? Four. And we have seven, right? So four versus seven gives you one bonus. I bet when we had eight, then we get a two bonus, but uh, they're going to get destroyed. Very quickly. There we go. Popularity. Uh, we lost 110 troops. I think they are gonna replenish. They're gonna replenish from the manpower or not? Yes. Let's try to kill some more small stacks here. We can reach them in time. There are farmlands over here. Yeah, I will. I will have a river crossing, I think. Oh, we only face 1000. That's nice, then we can kill the 1000 here. Goodbye. <laughs> Deck wipe. Uh, planes. Yeah, let's attack them in the planes here. Oh, they're gonna escape again. Let's try to catch that army. Uh, what's gonna happen over here? We are going to attack this guy over here. I could cancel the siege, but no. So close of the siege. Uh, yes, we did build our government, uh, our province uh, bonus. And now we have more slaves in Rome. We're having a population problem. So I think we're going to build an aqueduct so we can get more population. I think that's the only way to uh, get more population in your, in your country. Cap. But I think that means that you need see oh and civic advances also helps uh, we can also do the uh, population capacity uh, plus two and a half percent infrastructure spending do we have any infrastructure spending bonus no so we could click this button but then we lose all our political influence so I'm just gonna build an aqueduct for now yeah we have now uh, eight slaves over here and we have seven nobles, so we are getting more nobles, and we will keep getting more nobles because we built the academy. And that means we get more um, 
uh, more research. Game of 20. What is this? We can have an extra trade route. Why is that? Why did we gain another one? Oh, we have enough. We have more population, so we can uh, inter uh, we can import more trade goods. Um, I could import a horsey, but uh, when a horsey uh, only gives my gives me heavy cavalry discipline, I don't think we have heavy cavalry. No, so that's a complete useless import. What about stone? Build cost minus 10. We have the olives uh, first. No. We have the base materials one. Do we have the leather one? Let's go for leather. Oh, no one wants to trade with us. Can I not see who wants to trade in a quicker glimpse? Must be. Must be a way. Wait, isn't there a trade? Yeah, there's a trade goods map mode. I I know there is a way you can trade quicker. But where was it? Oh wait, the macro builder. Yes. You can just click and see if something is green on the map. You can get green if we don't need it. Do we have fish? Now let's import fish then. There we go. Bit more food is always good. Yes, we are gonna capture you. And are we winning there? Not really. I don't want to lose that siege, so I'm not gonna go after them. This was nice. Uh, let's take the fort of uh, Lucania. That also reminds me of the province map mode. Um, I want to help with the cultural assimilation. So we're going to change everything to cultural assimilation. We get a bit of tyranny from it. Now you can see what tyranny does. Um, makes your slaves better. But your loyalty of our characters goes down. So you really don't want that for too long. Now we don't have to do this in, in Latium. Because most of the people here are already a Roman. But over here... We need this one, and we need this one here as well. We want to make everyone rope. We are here to bring civilization. You also have to make sure you go for the war goal quickly enough, because otherwise you get a timer, and uh, you are not fulfilling your war goal. A white piece will be happening. Oh god, they are attacking me. Well, let's just we are gonna let it happen. Hey, we got the fort just before they attacked us. <laughs> that was nice. So are we now the defender then? Oh, what is this? The cult to Fortuna. Let you have seen growing numbers of people following Fortuna, seeking the fortune of the gods. The priest's small group followers have arrived in Lavinium, looking for a new home. We get a Roman freeman. Lose five stability. Or... We're gonna banish them. We're gonna banish them, I'm popular enough. Tribal proposition. A tribal neighbor, Pel Pelignia, started investing a lot of their treasury into opening up the borders. Wow. We get free money. From... Oh, that is our uh, vessel, I think. Oh, well that is nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, how is my level 10 general doing here? Oh, he's level, having level 9, so he's not. Uh, we're not getting any bonus. We have no uh, tactic bonus. We have 1% more discipline. And he is... Why is it doing so weird? He's having a terrain penalty. Oh, looks like we're gonna lose. We have to come back from for that uh, province. Uh, let's 
run away. What are my uh, vessels doing? No idea. Yeah, no one is... Uh, everyone here is now... Uh, Roman? Oh wait, not in Rome. Uh, this is for each settlement and city, so we are doing it at point 0.7. Over here, but over here it goes quicker because we have the uh, the state... Yeah, not a state edict, what is it called? The governor policy. You can also finish, uh, change it over here, this uh, province overview. Oh, they're gonna take back the fort, yeah. Now oh, this is Campania, so we need to take this fort and this one. We need to take these two forts very soon, otherwise uh, we are gonna get this message here. Oh, you're not you're not fulfilling your war goal. You need to uh, go back, otherwise we are gonna make sure you're gonna get a white piece. Which is really annoying. We are so far here already that we cannot go away. We need to see to what we can. And I'm not importing livestock. Is there another livestock province? Oh yes, there is. Thank you. Now you can see that we make 3.35 from our income in commerce. Very nice. Hey, the aqueduct is built, so we have our population kept to 69 right now. We can build two more buildings. Now, if you want to build a metropole... We need 80 population, so how are we going to get more population then? Oh, by doing uh, infrastructure, 2.5%. Then we get 2.5% over 42, 46. That is 1. Yeah, that will round up to 1 or maybe 2 population only. That is not a lot. But we have to. If you want to make Rome a, uh, the first metropole in Europe, there is only one metropole at the start of the game. Uh, let's see, where is the... There's a map mode for it. Territory rank? Yeah, I think... I think the blue ones are cities. Yeah, blue ones are cities. Grey are settlements. So you can see that there is almost no settlements over here. But there is some in London. Uh, close to London. Oh. There is a... Metropolis of Alexandria, look at this. Very rich province over there. It's the only one that I can see over here. I think there's one in India, yeah, over here. Patalupata... Whatever. <laughs> there's one over there too. So let's make the third one, right? Now let's see how this war is going. Come on, siege it down so we can go back to the war goal. Can I not tell my allies to go here, like in other games? I think I cannot. No. No. Oh, I can't. Come on, be lucky. Here, take this uh, this province. These uh, these pillars are the the capitals. Where did they come from? Was I blind, or did I just see these uh, popping up on my screen? I think I'm blind. I guess. What? Please don't die. Run away. The second of Grumentum. So, yeah, we got this uh, this thing here. We got some more slaves. 
What are we gonna do with this province? We are gonna annex it as well, so I guess we're not gonna do... Uh, we're not gonna kill the people there. We're gonna gentle loot it. Let's uh, go to a war goal now. Are these planes? Yes, let's attack them in the planes. There we go. We did it. They got Lucernia, they took our uh, people away from there. It's very annoying. Okay, our armies are together, so we use our better commander. We have a big bonus. They are trying to reinforce. But they are too late. Okay. Um, let's go to over there. Try to get uh, the war goal completed. I don't want to attack them in the hills. Oh, let's go this way. Oh, well, if you are going to... Uh, Try to unseat your territory, then I will try to kill you. Yeah, they're gonna run away the whole time, which is very annoying. Let's try to siege down this one. I don't know what they're gonna do. Are they gonna sit here now? We have to keep going after our war goal, I think. Oh, you're going here? Try to kill them. Yeah, we got them. Well, we have the wrong tactic, unfortunately. It's just random. The ultimate agenda, a law for the rich. Uh, I don't, yeah, we need to go and pass our law. The... Uh, senatorial endorsement law. So we go from tribal assembly, which gives um, minus 10 corruption, to senatorial endorsement, which, which gives us more political influence. Uh, we are going to do this. And they will become happy. And we completed our pass law achievement. I think it's going to update next month. Come on. There we go. And now we are going to go after the capital. This is their capital, I think. Are they going to retreat to this province? Yes. Well, maybe we can stack wipe them. Yes, we did. Very, very nice. Hey, we have 100%. Why? Oh, there is no, there is no fort there. No, there is no fort. It's just a uh, a capital province. Just like this one. But what does that uh, that circle mean? Is that the capital sign? Yes. Capital, the capital of the nation has this this ring around the pillar, and the fortress is this sign. We did it, and we are gonna sack normally because we don't want to kill the people. We want to make them Romans. And here you can see the white piece is imminent. If we don't get our war goal achieved, you're gonna get the white piece. Isn't that annoying? So we better hurry. Uh, we have another trade route. Why is that? 
Well, I don't know. I think we have more population again, thanks to our uh, slaves. Yeah, that's what happened. So we are going to get um, another fish, hopefully. There we go. The free men are becoming happier, which means more taxation and more manpower. Let's see if that updates next month, see if we get more money. Now let's siege all of the Campanian territories before we get uh, some problems. Yeah, we make point ten more. Yeah, it's over. The, uh, the We got the war goal completely sieged, so now we get a ticking war score and that's better. Can we peace out for everything? Because we want everything. Want to seed provinces? Yeah, we can take everything. Uh, we get 8 aggressive expansion. Which is okay. Uh, you can ask for money in this game. You can only take land. And we will. Boom. We also become a regional power. So we are getting bigger. There we go. Uh, we are now a regional power. And instead of a local power. So we can now get alliances. Uh, we can guarantee people. You can see the, we have another import trade route I think. Quicker integration speed. There we go. I have an event, Xenophobia. No, let's not uh, make arrivals. Let's do this one. Oh, we need to make a decision about the elite. Now you can see at all these characters that they are very disloyal. These are the people that we just conquered. And we are not going to get them. Give them any position, I think. Uh, what we can do is this one to get rid of some aggressive expansion, or hmm, I think I want to get rid of some aggressive expansion. So I'm going to click this option here, and there they are gone. They are all dead now. <laughs> And now we can complete uh, one of our missions. We can now click, click the Crush the Samnites um, mission. Because they are, they are dead. We own these three provinces. And what do we get when we do this? We get more assimilation speed and an event. And in this event we can um, make people Roman. In one of, the, one of the territories. City or the settlements. No, we, I'm going to do this in... Bovianum, because then we have six pops that become a Roman. There we go. We can also uh, click Vanquish the Lu Lucanians. They are also dead. And we are going to make four pops Roman. And make them happier. We can do another one. We can do now Approach the Greeks. Um, we are going to uh, negotiate with the Hellenic States in Magna Graecia. Uh, that's what we can do. But what we also can do is do the Pan-Italic uh, Pan Congress, I think. There are three non-subject Italic states in mainland Italy with greater than minus 50 opinion of Rome. But we do have those. Hmm. No idea. I'm going to wait with that mission. Well, I have to end the episode here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. In the next episode, we will be at peace for a little bit. We're going to stop the levy. Get some military experience when we do this. That's very nice. Why can you not step down? They are landlocked. 
Oh, yeah, I need to wait for that to happen and then you can also go back to work. Okay, that's going to be it guys for this episode. So don't forget to like the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.